Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Disco from CZT Mina Hisayo. Now, I know we just did one a couple days ago from uh, Mina. And uh, you know what? I, I just, there are a lot of different places that I go and look for tangles and I wait for something to jump out at me and that's how I that's how I pick them and this one did and I'm like going oh this is neat one and I, I know at least well several people that are probably thinking oh disco like the five elemental strokes of Zentangle well yeah exactly that's what this one's about it's kind of cool <laughs> so all right so we're gonna start with the dot for the D, right? So put a dot. Now you, you'll want to have, have this position so that way you have a little room above, uh, more room below than above because we're going to be working both ways. Okay. So that is one elemental stroke. Another is the straight line or like, I like to say a lowercase L or an I without the dot, <laughs> or depending on how you draw a capital I, sometimes it is just like that, just a straight line, right? Okay, uh, we're, we're gonna go a little out of order. Um, we're gonna do a C-shaped curve line, so from the bottom of this straight line that you just did, up above the top, I'm gonna have it go just there, about, e about even-ish, okay? So there's your C-shaped curve line. Next, S-shaped curve line from this, this tip down to here. There we are. And the O. And we're going to put the O right here at the base. <laughs> and that's it. Awesome, right? Now, Take a look at the For More Inspiration link in the description section so you can see some of the neat ways that Mina has uh, plays with this one. So here's here's some of the things that you can do. It, it It's hmm, fragment-esque. I mean, this this one came out way before we were doing, uh, you know, uh, frag or we had named fragments as such. But let's see. I, you can, oh, let's do, I'm going to shoot one off this side here and we'll holla about it. So let's do the dot here. We'll see how far it goes. Straight line. Oh, well, I've made it without having to holla about, although I just went off the paper there. C shape curve line, S, and then another orb. And the fun thing is you can do these however you want. One of the things that I like that Mina did was she decided to add some little extra lines and dots. And then also Orad. So let's see. Oh, let's do this. We'll do. Oh, let's do another one. We'll have it coming off of here. Um, and this is probably the only way that it only. Wait. How, how do I want to say that? The only thing that makes it tricky is if you want to combine them, you just have to place this knowing how much, well, you just make do with whatever room that you have, I guess, right? So, you know, you can do your straight line in enough room. So, okay, oh, I can put my orb right there. Okay, there we go. And the C shape can come up as far or as not as far as you need it to go. Like that. We can put a nice big old orb here. Actually, let's aura that orb. Um, yeah. Like that. Let's aura this. And this side. And you could do it two, three times, however you want. I do like having the multiple uh, lines and dots inside here. It's just fun. So this can also then, obviously, it can be an organic tangle, being that it can grow off of itself. How, that's how my definition of organic, ones that grow, um, yeah, off of itself, just like that. You just, you just keep adding to it as much as you want. So another way is that you could just like this, 
tuck it right in. That makes it a little easy. And then let's do the orb here. And let's aura this one too. I do I do like that look. Let's do three on this one. Or I guess, you know, three would mean two auras. <laughs> Heck, you could just do the one side. Hmm. It, up to you. It's, it's your tangle. You get to play with it however you want to. And then I'm going to aura this orb. Let's put one on the inside so I can neaten that up. Like that. Oh, and we'll have to add some more of these. These are almost as good as the line dot dot. Almost. Oh, and let's see. We have four, so that means I have to add one more. Let's put it... Yeah, let's put it here. We'll have it... Uh, Where do I want? I guess I'll tuck it in here. Let's see. So while you, uh, this is one of those, while you can worry about, oh, well, where should I put it? Oh, and adjusting and whatnot. At the same time, it still doesn't matter. So it's kind of a good practice one to, uh, if you're one that is like, oh, I don't know. And I want it to be perfect. And, I, and you worry about a lot of this stuff. This is a great one where you don't have to do that. Um, it needs one over here though, doesn't it? It sure does. It does indeed. And, you know, and like I said, the nice thing is you can adjust it however you wish. So fun. And then, you know, pairing it with, with other tangles, things like that. So this one, besides it could be a fill in like this. You could just use it as an accent where you just put, say, one of them in a corner or two or something. And you just, you know, use it that way. Here's another thought, too. Um, it's like, well, I don't want to go off because I'm going to go off the side here. There is no reason why you can't aura the inside like that. No one's going to know. You don't have to tell. It's all good. I need to have, it needs to be an odd number, so. Just me. Let's tuck one right in here. Just a little one. All right, you know, and I think, I'm gonna have to look back. I think on some of Mina's, these, I have them kind of coming out of the same place. I think she might have had some just straight up. I'm going to leave a couple of them just, just plain because it's fun. Um, but there we go. So then shading. You know, and one of those, of course you can leave it however you want to leave it. But mm, it's so fun to shade. All right. And then so many thoughts on this. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm going to start here. And just like I would do, say, a seed shape, and I'm going to put graphite on these orid sections and bring it out to the middle. I, I kind of, uh, my rule of thumb is, you know, thinking about a third of the way. See, look at how that makes it, like, shiny. And then you could just leave that like that. Or I'm thinking, you know, could make one side we just try I'm trying to just tra sort of trying to just trace over very carefully just to add a little bit of thickness on the one side I'm trying to make that a nice smooth line but not where it runs into there could do that could do it on both sides up to you up to you can also just put some at the top and the bottom of this one. Ooh, let's just finish that. That's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. I think I have a bit on my tortillon here. Well, let's just try just one side. Kind of like this. 
And then you have to, we have to remember those the, the little orbs too. But this is definitely going to be one that, uh, oh, let's try this one uh, a little distance away. This is this will be a mishmash. So it's, it's like a sampler, <laughs> a sampler of uh, ways that you can uh, can shade this. Ooh, let's have that come out. Uh huh. Ooh, let's try this. Because where you shade, you kind of recess it. And so it just depends on what you want to, to pop out. So that's kind of interesting having those pop out like that. All right. Let's do... Oh, I, I like that one. So let's do... And I'm just oh let's just fill it into the edge and leave it at that okay very good let's do another one with this at the tip at the bottom oops need to I put the graphite there and that was about it and just for kicks Lots of fun. Lots of different ways that you can have fun and play with this one. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, please also subscribe to the channel. Uh, in the description section, I mentioned the uh, links to the step outs. So I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. So you will find those. Also, ways to connect with me if you wish. I have a link to my website where you can follow my blog. Um, Facebook page, so you can follow me there as well. Uh, there, I you um, if you're interested in classes, I usually post them there first so that we'll see them. I, I do post them some other places, and quite honestly, the way my uh, schedule has been going, uh, sometimes I run out of time, and I, I, you know, or I, you know, and I don't get them posted at the other places. I'm working on fixing that error on myself. Um, but so if you happen to be on Facebook, follow me there. And if you would like to join uh, and hang out with a bunch of amazing Tangle addicts, we have a private Facebook group. Uh, the link is there. And know that there are four questions to answer in order to gain entry. And... Um, think what else do I have there uh speaking of classes I do have them twice a week I do two sessions Tuesdays and Thursdays Thursdays are always free Tuesdays one of them is free that's on the third Tuesday it's called Tough Tangle Tuesday and then uh the other ones have a fee or it's a, I have a I have a uh, a Tangle Addicts Club and I do have one class that is exclusive uh for them so um, so anyway, check it out. Come check us out for free. We have a lot of fun and uh, we'd love to have you join us. So with that, thanks so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.